like what you say. Mm -hmm. Wrong. TV, nigga. Yeah, like, come on, Oh, I've said this over and over again. You know, over and over again. Out of chaos comes order. Right now, you too strong. If you wake up and you decide to start flipping, they can't stop you. Out of chaos comes order. Out of chaos comes order. Out of chaos comes order. The elites and the higher ups, they already know. You know, they already know that with chaos comes order. Feel what I'm saying? Let me say that again. With chaos comes order. They already know that. And they know that in between that chaos and that order, you got something called the circus. And then you got something called the calm. Now, Damn! it's grown man business. It's grown man business. Like Alan Iverson, I play to win With so much ice, they think I played in the stadium I let that easy money slide like an ATM And now it's grown man business About to touch them M's, come again Yizzo, you already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, Grown Man Business. And listen, you could tap in or you could tap out, but you know my slogan. You know what I suggest. And I suggest you tap in, so let's get right into it. And yes, man, finally made it to the big house. Finally made it to the big house. Now, shout out to all the new subs. Shout out to all the new tribe and gang members. But you know, if you've been rocking with me from day one, you already know about the big house. You already know about the properties and all of that. We're going to tap back into that. But you know, I'm finally here. You see that, you know what I mean? Big house, I told you, we here, baby. We back home, you know what I'm saying? Back to the big house, you feel what I'm saying? Yes, sir, Sunshine State. Big things only, lock in. Got feel what I'm saying? So, you gotta know, man, soon as I came back to Florida, it was like, it's like a method to the madness. It's always a method to the madness, you feel what I'm saying? And soon as I touched down at the big house, I said, look, take three or four days, catch up on sleep. Take another three or four days, catch up and recharge on vitamin d on sunlight you know what i mean one of the things i love about florida is the constant sunlight feel what i'm saying and while doing that i wanted to let the gang just just you know simmer down you know what i mean settle into the calm that i told y'all about because you know it's chaos comes order and in between chaos and order you got the circus and you got the calm and i wanted to give y'all a chance to settle down without me just you know putting it in your ear every day you feel what I'm saying? Can you see the calmness? Can you see the smoke settling and the smoke clearing out? You know, you don't see too many people up in arms anymore about Dolph's situation, about Dolph getting murdered in broad day like that. You understand? Um, you know, you, you you know, like I said, you got the chaos, him being killed in broad day. People, people are up in arms. Everything's very tense. Then you get the circus where you just got people making up all kind of outlandish stories. Picking it, picking here and pulling there to create a narrative. You feel what I'm saying for the likes and whatever else that comes with it. You know what I mean, and now we have the calm. Now I'm, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it slow with y'all. I wanted to go through every step, not all in one video. You feel what I'm saying? Every step spread out. You know what I mean, so that it could be digested and it could be consumed the right way. You understand what I'm saying? Now we're in the calm. The smoke is clearing. People on up in arms. Everything is back to business as usual. Regular scheduled programming. Everybody's back to work, making money, love life, kids. You feel what I'm saying? Bills. You feel what I'm saying? Um, and I said this in a, you know, I said this before as well that you know, with every death, with every high-profile crucif crucifixion, every high-profile person that is crucified in public, it just makes the circus and it makes the calm come faster. It's short, you know, now you have the circus for maybe a week With Tupac, you had that circus last for five to ten years Now the circus might last a week and a half You feel what I'm saying? Before people start to enter in the calm Where the smoke starts to clear And people just say, you know, he's dead, man What else, you know, what else you gonna do, right? So that, that, that was my my explanation for you me, me taking a few days off i'm nothing like your favorite bloggers man i'm nothing like the dudes that pop up on this thing every day give me every day you feel what i'm saying when i come i'm coming strong you know what i mean and i'm gonna come correct you feel what i'm saying so that that's that's for the absence you know what i mean shout out to the gang y'all already know how we giving it up 
But he had Grown Man Business TV. We're going to give it to y'all from multiple different angles. Multiple different angles, right? Now, now that the smoke is clearing, you know what I'm saying? When order is put in place, we'll, we'll dive in on that. We'll diagnose that. You understand what I'm saying? But right now, it's the calm, you know? So, on another angle, it's like sitting back, looking at the whole situation with Dolph and all that. Um, Just, you know, getting information that I didn't know before he died. Things that I wasn't hip to, like his his uh real estate portfolio. You know, I just had my wheels turning. You feel what I'm saying? Um, We definitely going to focus on the death and the higher ups. You know, understand? But then we want to be able to pull positivity from the situation as well. And one of the things, like I said, that I could uh, relate to Dolph with and I feel like we had in common is the real estate. Now, you know, Dolph had hundreds of properties. You know, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet, but I'm definitely on my way. Um, um, but that was something that I kind of, it kind of uh, resonated with me. Feel me? You know, I got the big house. You know what I'm saying? I got, uh, you know, big Bradley properties. You already, you see that. You feel what I'm saying? Big, bad, big Bradley properties where I got the big house under it. You know what I'm saying? I also have a property in Mexico, uh, a villa. You know what I'm saying? Five diamond villa that I own in Mexico and I send people out to all the time. If you if you ever want to go out the country, if you ever want to, you know what I'm saying, get around some some real big time shit, let me know and I can lock you in. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole nother video though. Um, but the 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 real estate, you know what I'm saying, the good deeds, uh, you know, that is something I think that a lot of people should home in on when it comes to Dolph. It's his real estate portfolio. Uh, he was doing big things with that You know what I'm saying Buying vacant homes all over the city You know what I'm saying Just filling up his portfolio Filling it up Some joints is vacant Some is foreclosures Some joints is right You know what I mean uh, Some of the joints you gotta fix up Some is already ready But as long as you got them And you own them You know You, you, you in a good place You feel what I'm saying Um and that's something that I'm personally going to take from the Dolph situation. And I'm going to run with that. You know what I mean? I'm going to apply it to my arsenal. And I'm going to make my shit stronger. You feel what I'm saying? So that's definitely an angle that I want y'all to, you know, just, just know that that's what's going on in my brain. You know, Dolph had an extensive real estate portfolio. You know what I mean? And we're going to dig into that as well a little bit more in, in other videos. Because like I said, you know, so I have big Bradley properties. You know, I have multiple properties under it. Um, and... That's just something that stuck with me. Now, on a whole nother angle, shout out to everybody out there tapping in. Everybody out there that's tuning in to the because this is what you gotta understand, man. This is what you gotta this is what you gotta realize is that you know, more than likely when people when they're watching you when you least expect it. You know what I'm saying? They're soaking up game from you when you least expect it. You feel me? And that's why you always got to be presentable. That's why, they, you know, they always say always, you know, you don't have to get ready. Be ready. Always be ready. So you don't have to get ready. You feel what I'm saying? And I want to give a shout out to all the big dogs out there that's keeping an eye on the channel. You know what I mean? It's, it's not just Haas. Shout out to Haas. Um, but it was a few other people that I'm noticing that using a grown man business. You know what I mean? They're, they're kind of using that, that, that slang a little bit, uh, you know, uh, with, with, you know. With chaos comes order. They're using the slang. And even with somebody, you you know, when they watching you, if you if you rub off on them, you know, it might be something as subtle as the slang that they start using at the moment. You feel what I'm saying? And, you know, it's always better to have two eyes than one. Two eyes is always better than one. So the things that I'm not catching, the gang is catching. And they throwing it in my DMs. Yo, E, yo, yo, grown man business. You see this? Yo, yo, GMB, you see that? Yo, big biz. Check this out. What's that? And, you know, shout out to them because I love it. I love it. But I like the, you know, it's flattering to me. You feel what I'm saying? Because we only going up. The channel only growing. You know what I'm saying? We we, we just now uh, breaking 8,000 subs. We approaching 9,000 subs. And we only going up. It's constant elevation. So when I see some of the big dogs that got, you know, 350,000 subs and 450,000 subs, you know what I'm saying? Um, Using the angles. Reusing some of the angles here at Grown Man Business TV, it only let me know we doing something right, and we gonna con it's constant elevation, constant elevation, man. So, so shout out to y'all, shout out to everybody that's watching, because again, a lot of the times they watching when you least expecting, and they soaking up game, and they not gonna leave a comment, they not gonna, they not gonna give you a shout out, they not gonna mention you, they might not even like the video, but they definitely leaving with something. You feel what I'm saying? And if you doing this for the right reasons, that's 
That's one of them reasons. You feel me? We, 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 we all want to get paid. We all, you know, it's all about a bag for, you know, a monetization from almost anything that you're doing. But for me, it's more about, you know, those small, uh, those small things that's, that, that turn on the light switch in your brain. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, I peeped that. And if I didn't peep it, the homies peeped it. So shout out to the gang, man. You feel what I'm saying? And like, you know how I do. I'm not going to make this a long one. You feel me? I, I you know, I took a, a nice couple of days off to, to recharge. You feel me? And let everybody settle into the calm. You feel what I'm saying? And, you know, you know, Dolph had an extensive real estate portfolio. Extensive. You know, so that, you know, I, I definitely wanted to be able to let everyone know that, you know, with these situations, it's positive and negative in everything that we do. You can't, you know, a battery with only positive sides or a battery with only negative sides could never work. You need the positivity and the negativity put together to take it to the next level. So even in these type of situations, when it came to Nip, when it came to Dolph, you know, we definitely going to tap into the positive, to, to the positive that they brought to this world, the positive they brought to this planet. And some of those things you can actually add to your arsenal and take you to the next level. You feel what I'm saying? And then last but not least, man, shout out to all the big dogs that's watching. It's a lot of big dogs that's watching. I remember one time, you know, Star uh, Star said something and my DM went crazy. This was in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Um, My DM went crazy. I didn't even know who Star was. I'm not, I didn't know nothing about Buck Wild and none of that shit. You feel what I'm saying? And people was just, and it just let me know that, you know, the, the, the higher ups, they know. You know what I'm saying? The big dogs, they smell it. They know. You know, and, and we only going up. So it's constant elevation. Constant elevation, man. You already know I'm at the big house right now. So I'm not going to stay on this too long. But I did want to tap in with the people. I wanted to tap in with the gang. I ain't went nowhere. You feel me? You see a nigga got a tank top on. You feel me? It's a little sweaty. Yeah, it's summertime still, baby. It's summertime still. So you already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, Grown Man Business TV. Yeah, you know I mean, you can tap in and you can tap out, but you know my slogan. You know what I suggest, and I suggest you tap in. I suggest you tap in to this grown man business. I suggest you tap in to this grown man content at all times. You already know what it is. Straight off the brick into the bottles. Straight off the brick into the bottles. Straight raw, uncut, nothing stepped on. Peter uncut pure you feel what i'm saying nothing we ain't gonna sugarcoat nothing and we ain't dressing nothing up giving it to you straight raw giving it to you straight raw man and shout out you know again it's flattering when the big dogs get to watching it you know what i'm saying because it just let me know like i said it was constant elevation we only going up <laughs> with chaos comes order you feel what I'm saying? And it is what it is, man. So you already know what time it is. It's your boy, Grown Man Business. You could tap in or you could tap out. But you know my slogan. You know what I suggest. And I suggest you tap in. Got it.